Hey, what's up? So we're going to examine the uh, condo step, something that Steve Condos used to do. And uh, all it is is toe heel, toe heel. Um, but he used to sprint this to a very, very fast pace. So um, we're going to start nice and slow. We're just going to go toe, heel, toe, heel. Now, when I do toes and heels like this, there's usually some resistance in my calf muscle. So I'm stopping, I'm stopping this happening, for instance, straight away. I'm putting this down and then I'm dropping the heel. So at a slow pace, that works just fine. But as we start to speed up and really get into the difficult level of this, you're gonna want this to happen. So your foot is nice and relaxed. It's a little like you have a dead man's foot, okay? There is no interference with the ankle or the muscles around the ankle, and that happens. So the more relaxed you can be with the toes and the heels, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Just letting that foot drop. Like that. There's no interference. And on the left side, no interference. If, if you could imagine it almost just comes from the hip, or the whole leg is making that happen. So that's really going to help when we speed this up. Let's cut to the foot cam and sprint it. So that got really quick. Um, again, just think about the control, the relaxation of the ankles is really important here. And uh, you don't have to get very, very loud. You can do something at a mid volume or a low volume and you'll still be heard. So often when we're playing stuff very, very quickly, it's quite hard to hit it hard anyway. Um, but the relaxation is super important. Steve Kondos was a master of just having nice, a nice touch and uh, making every single note really delicate and really well placed and exactly in time. So if you've got your, again, if you've got halfway to the speed of halfway there, just keep working at that level, keep at it, and you will speed up, I promise. <laughs> 